was so tired of working day in and day out and not feeling satisfied or even fulfilled. I felt like a failure. I was working and still didn't see anything like anything of value from my efforts. So I began to think about what I really loved. I love people. I knew I needed to help people, but how? So then I dug deeper. What exactly did I love to do? One of the things that stood out was I love children. So then I began to immerse myself in the life of children. I would volunteer to teach Sunday school, vacation Bible study, children's church, after school program, summer camp, and I would watch all of the neighborhood kids. Kids was my life. And after being around them so much and understanding them, I began being dubbed as the child whisperer. So I designed a program that would teach you how to face their fears and build confidence. Then I quit my job and I started my business and never looked back. I used to live afraid my entire life simply because that's what I was taught to do. When people are afraid, they pass their fears on to you. But luckily for me, I am a rebel. So I just knew that there was something more in life. So I eventually began to go against everything that I was ever taught. And I'm glad that I did. I learned the only good thing about fear, if there is a good thing about fear, is that it's learned. And so it can be unlearned. I began to study people who I viewed as being fearless, like John Maxwell, Stephen Covey, Brian Tracy, to name a few. The more I learned, the less I fit into the box and circle of family and friends that I was always comfortable with. I knew I had to break away and I also knew that it would not be eagerly accepted. I did it anyway. Very afraid. However, once I broke away from the people, places, and things that held me and kept me in this little box, I really began to live. I became this force that people saw and was immediately attracted to. The thing about living fearlessly is that when you live and you breathe a fearless spirit, that liberates everyone around you. What keeps me motivated is that I love helping others break out of the fear because I know how it feels to live afraid and be afraid and feel like you can't even breathe, like fear suffocates you, you know? So I remember feeling that and I don't ever want to feel that again in my life. So me just loving how I love life now and living fearlessly, that motivates me to want to help others break away from their fear and just really, really take the fearless journey. So my mantra is a quote by Marianne Williamson and it's called Our Deepest Fear. Our deepest fear is not that we're inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. 
We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. So the advice that I would give others is to do it afraid. I used to be afraid of public speaking. I then confronted myself and I asked the, myself the tough questions. I said, so what exactly am I afraid of? Well, once I realized I was afraid of being laughed at, I was afraid that people wouldn't like me, and I was afraid of being nervous. So I decided to change those things. I said, okay, I'm afraid to be laughed at. Well, how about if I laugh at myself? I'm afraid people won't like me. Well, how about I like myself? So if someone else doesn't like me, that's okay. <laughs> And I was afraid of being nervous. So something that a friend of mine was talking about one day is just like, hey, you know, you want to do karaoke? Light bulb went off and this karaoke queen was born. I then started going to karaoke and I conquered the fear of being laughed at, being nervous, and people liking me all in one swoop. Because guess what? I got up there, I would sing songs. Sometimes I was off key, so I laughed at myself. I liked myself. And I was not nervous. So my advice, if you're feeling afraid, do it afraid. Just ask yourself, why am I afraid? Because the best way to conquer fear is to face it and crush it.